What's up guys, it's Peace and Today Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Nintendo DS games on your Nintendo 2DS or 3DS from your SD card. Alright, in order to do this, you will need a home-brewed 2DS or 3DS, so if you have done that, go ahead and check out my video on how to do that. Once you have that, um, simply take your SD card, put it into your computer, and I'll show you guys what to do next from there. Okay, so once you're on the computer, you want to go ahead and go over to the Twilight menu GitHub page right here. And if you're familiar with DSi Homebrew, you know that we also use the Twilight menu to play DSi games on the DSi's SD card. And we're also able to use um, it to play D DS games on the 3DS's SD card, as well as DS Homebrew, including GB Runner 2. So that's also something cool that we can try out. But anyway, once we're here, I want to go ahead and go down until you see the Twilight menu 3ds.7zip and as you can see this is in the 7zip so you are going to need a program like WinRAR or 7zip to open this so make sure you have that already installed. Okay so let's go ahead and save that. I'm just going to go and save this over here. All right. Okay so once it's finished downloading we can go ahead and find it. Okay let me just locate it okay so now we can go ahead and extract this all right now we can go ahead and delete that okay so now we have our Twilight menu 3ds folder right here all right one we need to copy over to um, uh, to our 2ds as a C car we need to copy over to the underscore nds um, folder the roms folder and the boot.nds folder and we're going to need to copy these over as well and we're also going to need to copy over both of these cias as well so let's go ahead and copy those over as well all right so once everything's copied over next we're going to need to add our games okay so i have um two games I want to try out. I have an SNES game and I also have a Game Boy Advance game uh, to, so we can try out GBA Runner 2 as well. So um, inside of the ROMs folder that you just uh, moved over, um, we should have a uh, Game Boy Advance folder so we can go ahead and drop our Game Boy Advance game in here. And we also have our NDS folder. We can drop our NDS game here. And of course, um, as you know, um, Twilight Menu also has a built-in emulators for all these systems. Um, personally, I would recommend you just emulate them from the, the 3DS or 2DS. Um, but if you want, you can also use um, you know this NDS functionality to emulate as well. Um, yeah, so the only one I'd mainly touch here is the Game Boy Advance with GBA Runner 2. That's pretty much it. But yeah, after that, you're pretty much done. So go ahead and uh, take your SD card out of your computer, put it back into your 2DS or 3DS, and I'll show you guys what to do next from there. All right, once we're over on our uh, 2DS or 3DS, go ahead and turn it on. Okay, once it's, go ahead, uh, once it's turned on, let's go ahead and find FBI. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and go to the SD, and now we're gonna go um, and find our Twilight Menu GameBooter.cia. So let's go ahead and install this. All right, and we're also going to install the Twilight Menu.cia as well. So let's go ahead and install that. All right, after that, we can go ahead and go back, press start to exit. And uh, if our game does not appear, we can just go ahead and then reboot our system. So as you can see, um, it didn't show up immediately. So just go ahead and turn off our 3D 2DS and then turn it back on. All right, and as you can see, it says new software has been added to the menu. And as you can see right here, we have the Twilight menu right here. So let's just go ahead and open it up.
All right, and we have the Twilight menu over here. Just go ahead and press select right here. And let's just go ahead and press this right here. Let's just go ahead and check out some settings that we have. All right, so we can change the frame rate. I'm just keep that at 60. The DS Classic menu at startup, so you can change um, whether you want the, uh, the DSi menu or the DS menu when you launch it. You can select the different menus, a the different theme. All right. All right. Uh, let's emu different emulation settings over here. GBA2 runner settings. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, we can boost the CPU speed. All right, so let's go ahead and try that. All right, that seems about pretty much it. So just go ahead and head on back. Okay, so now let's actually try out some games here. So let's just go over to our ROMs folder right here. All right, let's go to our NDS. And as you can see here, we have Pokemon Black 2 with the animated DSi. Let's go ahead and run that to make sure it's working. All right, and now we have our Pokemon game running, as you can see right there. All right, as you can see there, we have Pokemon Black 2 right there. Perfectly running right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Um, Try this again and see if we can uh, uh, get Game Boy Advance games running from GB Runner 2. All right, so just go ahead and so let's go back. Let's find GBA. We have Pokemon Leaf Green right here, so let's go ahead and run this. All right, and as you can see, Pokemon Leaf Green is running too very smoothly, I might add. All right, so not only do we have DS games working, we also have Game Boy Advance games running through GBA Runner 2. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and peace.